Hey there, welcome back to another edition of Tony's Sports and Mustangs. I made one glaring mistake on my MDW shifter install. I want to go over that with you so you don't make the same. Stay tuned. Before we get into my screw ups, I kind of want to show you the Ford shifter out of the car. I didn't show that in my video, and I think I can see where that little bit of vagueness is coming through. And this is a much better design than past Ford shifters. Okay, so this is the support piece for the Ford shifter. There's a rubber bushing back there that those two prongs go into. That section there is where your shifter actually sits. And this piece up here has two steel bushings with rubber gaskets on the inside. And this is what actually bolts to the transmission. That's the bolt that's difficult to get at. It's bolted through on the passenger side. It goes through the, the top of the transmission. There's a aluminum bracket up there that it goes down into. You have to unscrew it from the passenger side. And that's the, the difficult part. It's a really long bolt that goes in there. And it takes a long time to get at. Now, this is the actual Ford shifter itself. And this is the body of the shifter. And if you look at this neoprene gasket with the o-rings on it i think that's where your vagueness comes into play yeah this looks to be cast aluminum that does a decent job of supporting the shifter on the car but this right here is where i think the letdown is on the shifter this allows for play there it's not precise it just is kind of shoddy this arm then connects to the transmission and there's a input shaft on the transmission and that's where this stuff connects but if you compare the construction on this to the MGW piece, it is night and day. So when you set this up the way MGW would tell you to do it with the an OEM adapter, this would go on like this, and then the ball would screw down onto it. So you run this down all the way, the adapter, run the ball down as far as it'll go. And you get it somewhat solid, then I tighten this lock nut up to meet the shifter and there's a tool they supply to do this all right but then what you end up having is this shifter that's only that tall i mean that's maybe three inches off <laughs> where you're at it is very very small yeah i would say my big mistake was trying to stick with this knob just get their knob get their collar this is just not ideal Ford designed it for that pull-up. Why they stuck with it is beyond me. It ought to be trashed. And that's what I'm going to do. So there you have it. Don't use this. Go buy an MGW shift knob with your shifter. It's going to be well worth it. You'll get a better overall install. You'll get a better feel for the shifter. It's just a bad move. On my part, I try to cheap out and save 50 bucks. Hey, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. It'd be appreciated. And thanks so much for watching. Until next time, we'll see you.